Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the Promised Land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're reading Psalm 105, verses 1 to 15. O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises, and tell of his marvellous works. Rejoice in the praise of his holy name. Let the hearts of them rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham his servant, O children of Jacob his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise that he made for a thousand generations, the promise he made with Abraham, an oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan to be the portion of your inheritance. When they were but few in number, of little account and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no one to do them wrong and rebuked even kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. A canticle is a song of Solomon. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave, its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. The reading is from Luke chapter 1 beginning at verse 39. In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believed there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Here ends the reading. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. 
the trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? The Song of Christ's Glory At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. Father God, we pray today for our social services and we pray for the people that they will work with. Father, we pray for all who work in the criminal justice system and we pray for both the victims and the perpetrators of crime. Father, we pray for the work of aid agencies from around our world, praying especially for those who work in war-torn and dangerous areas. And Father, we pray for those who are living in poverty or under oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, who when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land, who witnessed to their faith with courage and constancy, give to your church that peace which is your will, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven, and share together in the vision of your glory, through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.